received several questions about um, how to uh, create the uh, render texture uh, on on Maya, how to bake it. Uh, there's actually a, an even simpler way to to save your texture from a procedural map that was applied to to the geometry in Maya. Um, faster and easier to understand than baking. Uh, the, the, the advantage of creating a baked texture or creating a texture based on um, on a procedural map is that every time, remember that every time you uh, render it will, procedural uh, maps will look different because their mathematical calculations are done by the software. So every time, uh, you know, for example, noise is applied to surface uh, there's slight differences from one render to the next. So if you want to keep it consistent uh, throughout the renders and also um, uh, speed up rendering, you can then choose this technique to convert that procedural texture that you apply to that, to that geometry into a flat texture that you can take into Photoshop. Okay? And it's done very, very easily. Um, the first thing I want to do here is I, I have a basic um, box applied there and I just did um, a quick UV coordinate okay so I mean um, <coughs> excuse me a uh, an automatic mapping uh, operation where I separated all the sides okay that way um, the texture knows where to place the UVs next I'm going to go to the hypershade and I'm going to create a standard material, just, let's, you know, create a blend and apply it to our geometry. So, let's apply it, this one, there, and um, once you have that, uh, the next step will be to map on the color a procedural texture. Uh, let's say a fractal. Let's use a fractal for this exercise. And you know you will see it applied to your geometry. Okay. So every time that you you will notice that when you know every time you render, this will look slightly different because. Um, uh, you know, these calculations of these little areas are calculated by random, um, you know, equations. So, to keep it standard, this is how you would do. First, <coughs> let's um, convert that into, uh, you know, a texture. And for this, I'm going to um, very much move this over here. And... Uh, I'm going to expand this a little bit more so that you can see it. There you go. So I'm going to make sure that you see the blend that you or the material that you apply here and select your your shading, um, you know, your surface. You need to select the uh, the surface with the shader uh, network here so that. Um, when we do the next operation, the, the software knows how to, um, you know, dump this into in, in the shading network into the UVs over here. So with your um, surface selected, hold the shift key down and, and click on the blend or vice versa. And uh, next, go to edit on the hypershade, convert to file texture and open the option box. Right there at the bottom, just select JPEG, okay, and convert. You you can always you know increase the resolution here, but we can use the defaults. When I hit convert, you're gonna notice now that this kind of has changed. This looks a little bit different now. So well, let's see what happened here. Um, if you go, if no, if you notice here on source images, wherever you you set the project. Now you're going to have a file called fractal. So that is the file that JPEG is now having the text, the procedural texture that you have applied to the to the template as if it was with the uh, UV coordinates.